This is day 45, episode 22 of my modular journey. And today we're going to be talking about the WMD mod box. The mod box is an LFO modulation source with multiple LFO shapes, uh, sample and hold, noise. And the interesting part about the, the LFOs is this, th is, they call it three phase. And being an electrician's son, that means something totally different to me. So it took me a minute to actually grasp what's going on. One of the outputs runs at like, let's call it zero degrees. The next one at 180, the next one at 240. So that basically means the, the, the signs or whatever shape is coming out of it are basically offset by a, a certain amount. And what I'll show you what that looks like in data here in a moment. The mod box I got used through Reverb. It was 170 bucks US, so uh, not too expensive for the amount of stuff it does do. It's pretty cool. How I plan to use it is probably just, just as a modulation source, exactly what it's meant to do. It's a tool and I'm gonna use it. That's why it's over here in the tool section. I'm gonna plug in one of the leads to uh, data over here. You can see here what's going on. The three phase is controlled off this top knob. So this is like your speed. Again, watching data. Uh, it also has shapes. So let's start with the top shape. So the top shape is a pretty little sine wave. Let me speed it up so you can see it. Uh, clicking the button, it moves into a, a triangle. And the last shape is our uh, saw, anyway. So those are the three shapes that this particular LFO can be, and that's one of the three. If I plug in, um, let me grab my blue wire here. So this will be the second. Uh, this will be the blue trace on the on the data. So you can see here now the original, the green one, and you see how the blue is a little offset from it. I think that's what they're talking about when they say three phase. Uh, here's the third trace, which is the red one. So now you can see. You have three LFOs. They're all going the same speed because they're all still they're all still on the same channel, right? They're all still the same shape. If I change the shape, so uh, I guess uh, the way I would probably use something like this is maybe to uh, e either like maybe to LFO the two different chainsaw filters here. Let's try that. Why not? I have wired up two of the phases into the cinnamon filters going off of this chainsaw. So now when I hold a note, I'll pull out the purple one here. So you can kind of see what they're doing over here on data, right? I switch it back to sign. So you hear, see, that's, that's what I'm talking about the, by, by them being off a of phase from each other. So both both cinnamons are are oscillating, but they're doing it differently at di different intervals. So that could be a pretty good effect, right? That could be pretty cool. If I put this other one here into skew, uh, let me take out the first one so we can see data. So I've now put the third channel into into this this one called skew. So skew now works off of these two down here. So this is now again you have a rate. So clearly you turn it up and you get a faster rate. And then down here is shape. So in the middle it's a triangle. Turn it over to the left and it's a, uh, it's a saw that that instantly rises and then tapers off versus turning it the other way where it's now a ramp that goes up and then drops. So that's, uh, that's kind of what skew does. And then the next two are going to be uh, sample and hold. Do we plug it into sample and hold? Skew rate seems to control the speed of that. Let me pull the pitch out of the, uh, out of the keyboard. So 
So that sounds like normal sample and hold noise, right? So. And then we have noise. And noise is noise. Nobody controls noise. So again, looking down here on data, this is just our noise. Yeah, so it seems like noise is just noise. So um, that's it for episode 22, WMD Modbox. Um, coming up next is the Chaos Devices Batumi. So stay tuned for that.